Hello everybody! Today I'm here to give you the download on Dual Overload, available at your local official tournament store on March 19th and everywhere on March 20th. Dual Overload is absolutely packed, and I am thrilled that I can finally tell you more about it. Let's begin. Each Dual Overload box set contains six Dual Overload booster packs, as well as one of six special oversized collectible cards. Each booster pack contains five cards that use the standard Ultra Rare technology, like you'd find in four booster packs or like in Dual Power. Now, as you can see, the booster packs all have different designs on them. Uh, there are ten different booster pack designs in all, even though you can only see six of them there. Uh, so you might find them fun to collect. Now, the designs on the booster packs themselves uh, do not influence the contents at all, so don't press out while trying to find the right booster pack, unless you're really trying to collect them all. Uh, you also get one of these six uh, special oversized collectible cards. I've got them all right here. Uh, they're really cool, and they let you see some famous cards in a whole new light, thanks to their slick uh, manga-inspired designs. Now, you might have seen these already. We showed uh, these three off at New York Toy Fair, but I have the other three here as well. Let's take a look. First, we have Four Guide from the Underworld. Very cool. We've also got Stardust Dragon. Very nice. And uh, my favorite of the six is Cyber Dragon Infinity. If you read the Zexo manga, you know this is how Xyz monsters look there. It's very slick. Now, a couple of those, uh, I mean, in addition to just the manga-inspired style, they, a couple of those look a little different than usual, don't you think? The Dual Overload booster set has 100 cards in total. In it, you'll find the largest collection of Link monsters ever assembled, with 30 new Link monsters and two returning from previous sets, for a grand total of 32. You also find four famous monsters with brand new artwork. You might have seen a couple of them among those oversized collectible cards just a moment ago. Dual Overload also has cards from many different Yu-Gi-Oh! manga series, as well as two of the animated feature films, and original cards designed to boost those cards from the movie. And on top of all that, Dual Overload gives you another shot at cards that are critical to building certain fun and powerful strategies. The example we used was Signet Mining for all the different Cybers decks, but there's more where that came from. And if that's not enough, Dual Overload even has three world premiere cards never seen anywhere else making their debut in this set. That's a whole lot to digest at once. So let me break things down for you a little further. Dual Overload has 32 total Link monsters that generally fall into one of four categories. First, there are some pretty awesome boss monsters in Dual Overload. Most of these are for specific decks or types or themes, so you might find a Tenny monster or a Mayakashi monster. But if you're looking for a new boss monster that you can use in any deck, Dual Overload has that too. Five-Headed Link Dragon has 5,000 attack points, unaffected by other card effects, can't be destroyed in battle except by Light and Divine monsters, and can be summoned using any five monsters, even Toki. Now, if you happen to be playing a deck that uses lots of different attributes, and you can use Dark, Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind monsters as materials, you can destroy all your opponent's cards on the field as well. One deck that's pretty good at fulfilling that condition right now is Dragon Maze, and it'll get even easier for them in a couple months, so if you're looking for a finisher there, I might give it a shot. Next up, Dual Overload has a number of powerful utility link monsters. Uh, these are cards that aren't necessarily part of your core theme or strategy, but they provide useful effects that advance your core strategy. For example, duelists who like flashy combos are likely to employ Union Carrier. While its ability is primarily useful for Union-based strategies, like ABC Dragon Buster decks, Union Carrier can equip any monster you control with any monster from your deck that shares the type or attribute with the monster you're trying to equip. That makes it easy to move monsters that you'd normally be hard pressed to access into a more useful location, and has a number of other hidden benefits for you to discover. Dual Overload also has a trio of Link monsters that support Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz monsters respectively. Try to plant Verte Anaconda can take on the effects of any normal or quick play spell in your deck with Fusion or Polymerization in its name, and it can also turn any monster on the field into a dark monster two and two together, and you can pay 2,000 life points, as well as send a super polymerization from your deck to the graveyard, use your anaconda with any monster your opponent controls to summon Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. If your opponent is playing a deck full of actual dark monsters, you might even be able to land the devastating Predaplant Trifio Verta. Finally, Dual Overload has some very specific themed Link monsters that you can plug into your extra decks to fill an important role in those themed decks. 
good example of that is DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. Special summon it, and you can take two DD Pendulum Monsters with different names straight from your deck and place them in your Pendulum Summon. You take a thousand damage, and you can only summon DD Monsters for the rest of the turn. And that is a small price to pay for such an overwhelmingly powerful effect that does exactly what you need to keep your game plan running smoothly. Dual Overload has variant art versions of four famous monsters. Tour Guide from the Underworld, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Sky Striker Ace Kagari, and Chaos Dragon Levianir. I don't often play two copies of a monster, but when I do, it's nice to have two different pieces of artwork for them so I can play one of each. Characters in the manga adaptations of the various Yu-Gi-Oh! series often play very different decks than they do in the anime series, and new cards from those adaptations are making their debut in Dual Overload. So for example, Bastion trades his science-themed decks from the anime for a folklore-themed deck with cards like Enma's Judgment for the GX manga. If you're a fan of Bonds Beyond Time or the Dark Side of Dimensions, don't worry, we got you too. Parts from those movies that were previously unavailable for both the Malefic deck and the Cubic deck make an appearance in Dual Overload, along with new cards made specifically to support them like Malefic Paradox Gear and Cubic Dharma. With Dark Side of Dimensions Movie Pack Secret Edition on shelves now, if you ever had an interest in trying out Igami's Cubic deck, now's a great time to do it. Many of you may have already read our webpage introducing the Eternity Code Booster Set, and if you were particularly eagle-eyed, you may have noticed a couple of hints about what kind of cards might be returning in Dual Overload. That's right, critical cards for Dinosaurs, Medulce, and Witchcrafters will all be appearing in this set. For Witchcrafters, Witchcrafter Creation, and Witchcrafter Madame Ver will be returning. Dino Duelists will have another chance at getting the all-important Double Evolution Pill Spell card. And Duelists interested in baking up their own Medolce deck will find it much easier to do so with another chance to get Medolce Magellane and Medolce Potinxis Chocolat a la mode. And there's plenty more where that came from. If you are aspiring to become a Cyber Dragon Duelist, you'll get another chance to pick up their powerful search card, Cyber Emergency. Duelists who want to try out a strategy where card positioning matters will find it much easier to give Magical Musketeers a shot, with Magical Musketeers Casper and Starfire available in this set. And if you're interested in any of the themes and strategies that use a lot of trap cards, think Altergeist, Kaleizoogs, Marine Cess, you'll have another shot at the all-important trap card, Infinite Impermanence. Believe it or not, there are actually even more critical cards in Dual Overload on top of all of those, but I think you get the point. Which brings us to our final topic, World Premiere Card. Dual Overload debuts three brand new cards for the first time anywhere in the world. One monster, one spell, and one trap. Now normally it's way easier to get monsters out of your deck or graveyard than it is to get spells or traps. But Trap Trick Genlissia changes that. You can tribute Trap Trick Genlissia to set two different normal trap cards with a hole in their name straight to your field. One from your deck, and one from your graveyard. Now there are already plenty of powerful cards that fit that description, but there's another one coming up in Eternity Code in just a few months, and there's a Rank 4 Trap Trick Dixies monster in Eternity Code as well, so if you have ever wanted to try out a Trap Tricks deck, now is a great time to do so. Now in a Trap Tricks deck, activating a normal trap card with the Link monster Trap Trick Sarah on the field will let you special summon Trap Trick Genselea from your deck. Then you can tribute Genselea to get back a whole trap card that you've already used, along with another one from your deck, and in doing so, you will also trigger Sarah's other ability to get another trap out of the deck. The end result is that your first trap turns into three more. If you prefer battles to be won and lost on pure strength, you might be interested in the Hollow Giant spell card. You can activate it if both players control a monster special summon from the extra deck, and it negates the effects of all face-up monsters on the field that were special summoned from the extra deck. This effect will last until a battle between monsters special summoned from the extra deck ends in one or both of those monsters being destroyed, at which point Hollow Giants will send itself to the graveyard and knock a thousand life points off the controller of the destroyed monster, or monsters if they take each other out. I think the art on this card is really cool and unique, and I hope you enjoy it. Now the initial idea for the third and final World Premiere card in Dual Overload uh, came about when Robbie and I were talking about incredibly old, incredibly powerful forbidden cards that were released before he started playing. The topic of Card of Safe Return came up, and he said to me, Yo, imagine Card of Safe Return? Ayakashi. Crazy. Just like that. 
That was the spark that eventually became Mayakashi Mayhem, a continuous trap that lets you pick from one of four effects each time a zombie synchro monster is special summoned, except from the extra deck, and even during the damage deck. You can inflict 800 damage to your opponent, send their lowest attack monster to the graveyard. This is a, a pretty good effect combo with Yukiona the Absolute Zero Mayakashi, which is also in dual overload. You can set a different Mayakashi spell or trap card directly from your deck, or you can draw a card just like the classic. Each of these effects can be chosen once per turn and used during either player's turn. So to make the most of this card, you want to build your deck to be proactive during both players' turns in summoning zombie synchros. A great card to help you out with that is Jacko Bolin from Ignition Assault. In the United States, Jewel Overload's MSRP is $29.99 and it's available for purchase at official tournament stores starting March 19th and on shelves everywhere March 20th.